Okay, my name is Moshe Katz, head instructor from Israeli Crowd International, based in Israel, but in 40 countries around the world. Today I want to do something that we don't normally do, is working with canes. Now, my advantage in teaching this class tonight is that I've been suffering from a very bad knee injury, as some of you know. I'm getting a little bit better, but when you feel the knee injury, it changes the way you use the cane. In other words, most of the videos and the classes that I've attended with people teaching cane, with all due respect to their abilities, have been people that have been in good shape, not with knee injuries. Maybe they developed the techniques when they had knee injuries. But what I see often is somebody holds the, the stick and then he does a jump, stick, a jump kick while holding the stick or he grabs the stick and swings it around, all sorts of things. And you look at him and he's standing solidly on two feet and you wonder like, okay, you look great, but what about someone who has a real knee injury? Jonathan, you have a knee injury, right? Okay, so Jonathan, come up a second. When we do the techniques, I want to get your feedback on how it would feel. You had a different knee injury than I had. Okay, it was pretty severe for a while. So when we do the techniques, I want to discuss it from your perspective as well. So in other words, people are showing techniques, and then as they're doing the technique, they seem to forget the fact that they're just using the stick as a weapon but they're not a handicapped person. Now, from what I understand, from what Mordechai told me, there's no law against carrying a stick. I mean, you don't need a medical document to walk around with a cane. I've been walking around with a cane lately, unfortunately. Nobody asked me any questions or any documents or anything like that. So um, anybody can really carry a cane. So in theory, you can walk around with a cane, even if you don't need it, and then as soon as someone comes near you, you can just, you know, go into your Kung Fu stance and start whipping it around and so forth, standing solidly on your two legs. And then someone will just say, hey, you're not handicapped, you're a faking a handicapped person. Yeah, fooled you. It's not illegal, right? You're allowed to take this on the plane from what I understand, so it's great. But what if you are in a situation that you need it? And what if you are an elderly person? This particular cane was owned by my dear mother, may she rest in peace, and she walked on it, and she needed it. Without it, she couldn't really walk. There's an old Greek saying, I think it is, what, what creature starts on four legs, then goes to two legs, and then goes to three? A human being. You start on four, crawling, right? Then you're on two legs most of your life, and then towards the end of your life, you're on three legs. I think it's a good riddle. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to point out is there's a difference between someone who's healthy and full use of their legs and someone who's not. So we have to take that into account when looking at the use of a stick for handicap. The other thing I want to point out, and that's why I have three sticks here, is there's different kinds of sticks. This is a great one. It's a wooden stick. It could be used for, for example, like hooking somebody, it could be used for hooking a leg and so forth. It could be used for you know, hitting with a pointy part and pulling the person forward. You saw the reaction over there, it's very effective. Um, on the other hand, um, this one, this is a uh, Kenobiri stick from South Africa, doesn't have those advantages. It can be used as a walking stick, but it doesn't have the advantages of, of the cane. This one in particular, I think, is actually shaped to be a more effective weapon. Can you hold this, please, Jonathan? And then there's this one, which is my mother, may she rest in peace, her stick, which has none of those advantages. Okay, so we have to take into account two factors. One, your level of health. Two, your, um, your choice of weapon, so to speak. So, Mordecai, come here for a second, please. So let's begin like this. Let's say now, Okay, and Jonathan, again, I want your opinion on this as someone who had a serious knee injury. I'm walking along, and someone comes up here and starts threatening me. Okay? What am I going to do? I need the stick to lean upon. I'm not completely handicapped. I can stand on my left foot for a little bit before it starts hurting, or I can deal with some pain, but I'm going to need to hit him a little bit or something to get him, get him to stay away. So from here... You know, I'm leaning on this, I may say, hey, take it easy, and then point a little bit, sorry, and point, poke away or something and put it back right down. That's a pretty simple move. Everyone see that one? I'm here, I can lean on him, push him away, and in a sense, at that moment, I'm leaning on him. 
So don't move it. So like here, I'm actually leaning on him. So I'm, it's not bothering me. He's my, he's my support. I could also like hold my leg a little bit and do a whack like this, okay? Boom, and bring it right down. What I'm not gonna do is grab a stick, Jonathan, is like, you're healthy now. You start going and pick up the stick and start like moving around and whacking and stuff like that. Yeah, you're doing this, like wait a minute, this guy's not suffering from a knee injury. If you do have a knee injury, or you're older like my mother, all those moves are not gonna be possible. So show that again, Jonathan. So if he's attacking you and you have a stick, you know, you might do that. Now, do it. All those kind of things are wonderful. But if I'm here like this and you show up like here, and I'm coming up here, you say, hey, old man. And I'm like, wait a minute. Boom. You, feel, you felt that? Yeah. Boom. Feel that? Boom. A little bit of a whack. Boom. Whack the face. I'm, I'm not spending a lot of time off my feet. I can do it without feeling much pain. Okay? So we're going to try those moves now. Okay? Very gently, hopefully, in each other. Quick feedback, Jonathan. Do you feel when you were injured that you could have done those moves that I just did now? Very briefly. Very briefly. Very briefly. Okay. So I certainly not taking the stick and waving it around. No. But um, this one you think you could pull off? Probably. Okay. So again, we have to take those limitations into account when you are injured. If you're just faking it because you want to get special attention. And I must say that since I've been walking around with unfortunate, my temporary injury, I've seen the better kind of uh, people's behavior. Suddenly, young ladies at the grocery store are helping me pack my groceries and people are opening doors for me and people come over to help. And it's just nice to see the kind side of humanity, which you don't always see. So there are some advantages. Um, but again, like you're saying, boom, a brief attack and stuff like that. So let's work on some simple moves now, okay?